akam jirtu barattoota naga kesani kun saganta qayyabanna barnoota geography tora youtube go lesson 17 tubitin barattootaan qayyabanna isaani irratti utubuuf yaadame qopaayeda barattoota yesenis barabaranaatti barnoota kuta kudalama daaf yiro tumurtani fi sense barnoota olano university daaf yiro tikop of tan want if kayebanna kesan isin utubu daaf youtube kanan tamsasa barnoota geography curriculum hara kesa qormata dare daaf isin qopessa jechun yaadun akkasumas qormata biyale saadaf isin gargara jede itti amane kitaba kessan isa kariikule mi hara kessa seccae addabaasun bifagaafidan isinif qopesse ak qayyabanna kessanif mijatuf kuno isinif tamsaasu daaf harra toora youtube ko rattargameer barattot isinis ega yeron yero qormata walakessa semistere tokko faitti qoramtan wanta ef ammu ma qabdani qormata kessan isa dare daf qabti gari gal mesistani qormata kessan isa biyole safis akka qopoftanif asumarran adara kon amad parattot youtube go lesson 17 tiu jedun tamsasa qayyabanna barnota geografin gaggesu akka isin bragauf subscribe gochun riyota ke sanifis share gochun like gochudan anas akka jajjabe sitanifi onna chistan kabaja fi galata guddaadan adara kon amadda barattoota ega barnota curriculum mi hara ke sa bifa kanan gafi kan qoppe sesin branga yota u barnota kesan baradar be kuta kuda tokko kesas akkanumatti qoppe sudan isin bira kanan gawu tau gamanuman isin yada ci su barbada welcome to go lesson 17 tu students this is a line of studying your subject especially geography subject in order to assist your studying for the class exam as well as the national exam the instruction says that choose the correct answer from the following alternatives question number one which of the following continent is not categorized to laurasia students i hope you have learned about laurasia and gondwana land laurasia and the gondwana lands are the two most types of continents which were primarily broken from panja panja was formed in paleozoic era and broken into laurasia the northern hemisphere or the northern continent and gondwana land the southern continent laurasia includes countries of the northern and gondwana land includes countries of the southern continent so which one of these four destructors is not the gondwana land i mean not the laurasia continents or which one is categorized to gondwana land a north america b asia c africa d europe students north america asia 
and the Europe are some continents of the northern continent, Laurasia, but Africa is the southern continent, Gondwana land. So the answer for this question is C. Why? Because it is Gondwana land. Gondwana land. Question number two. Which of the following continent was known as the southern continent after the split of Panja? A. Baltica. B. Rodina. C. Gondwana land. D. Laurasia. Gondwana land is, as I have told you earlier, the subcontinent which was categorized into the southern continent. So your answer is C again. Question number three. The simple, the single supercontinent Panja was formed in one of the following era. Which one is it? Students. When was the Panja, the supercontinent, Panja was formed? A. Paleozoic era, B. Precambrian era, C. Mesozoic era, D. Cenozoic era. Panja was formed in Paleozoic era. So the answer is C. I mean A. During the Paleozoic era, the supercontinent Panja was formed. Let's proceed to question number four. Which of the following is not correct about the evidence of continental drift theory? A. Continental similarity. B. Fossil evidence. C. Paleoclimatic evidence. D. Structural similarities. So, continental similarity, the distractor say, distractor A is not the evidence for the continental drift theory because there is no identity of continents. But fossil evidence, paleoclimatic evidence, and structural similarities, coastline similarities are the main evidences of continental drift theories. As a result, A is not the answer, which means is not indicates the correct evidence of continental drift theory. Question number five. Blank is the theory which is developed to explain how the outer layer of the earth move and deforms. A. Drifting process. B. Plate tectonics. C. Lithosphere. D. Oceanic crust. Students, let me give you two seconds. Try to answer. Good. I hope you have got the answer. If you answer as the answer is B. So, the correct answer is B. Plate tectonics is the theory which developed to explain how the outer layer of the earth moves and the deforms. Question number six. The boundary where two plates move towards each other and the denser plate will be forced under subsidence or subducted beneath the less dense one is a convergent plate boundary b divergent plate boundary c transform fault boundaries d convections so convergent plate boundaries are 
the two plate movements towards each other converging to each other and the denser plate forced to under why it is dense and subducted then is the less dense the less dense plate moves or found at the upper whereas the denser becomes at the beneath so the answer is convergent plate boundary convergent plate boundary is the boundary where two plates move towards each other and the denser plate will be forced under good question number seven as the plate moves which of the following may not take place as the plate moves all of the following takes place but one is not takes place okay which one is it a converge or come together forming destructive boundaries b divergent or spread apart forming constructive boundaries c slide past each other along fractures called conservative boundaries d none of the above uh, students i hope that you have learned it the convergent or coming together in order to forming a destructive boundary the divergent or spread apart moving apart from and forming the constructive boundary as well as the slides past each other along the fractures and known as conservative boundary are plates moves and takes places so the answer is none of the above all of these takes place but none of the above d is the answer excellent look the divergent and the convergent here this is the image of convergency two plates move towards each other and the answer the denser plate will be forced under forced under or subjected beneath the less one in your put a will fat in a nickel density nickel one will fat at a jala ola in the hap in whom then come in more records all are you true could imagine a convergence plate boundary convergence plate boundary من لو دنس يهونا وفرامو كبدت يالو كسر يولنا ساسا يالو اقم بسو سس يهونو كلا يميو لبت boundary convergence plate boundary من لالا good here is the example another is divergent moving from each other apart okay good question number eight the most transform faults found on the sea floor along the undersea mountain chains are called let me repeat once the most transform faults found on the sea floor along the undersea mountain chains are called a oceanic crust b oceanic reefs c continents d oceanic trenches oceanic reefs are the most transform are the most transform faults which are found on the sea floor along what along the undersea mountain so the answer is b 
which of the following is not the merit closely studying geographical process merit means advantage advantage importance of okay which of the following is not the merit it says not the merit okay not the merit not the merit means not the advantage of so which one is not the advantage of closely studying geological process a improving the understanding of the planet's history b helping to locate useful resources d prediction of potentially dis disastrous events d none of the above the merits of closely stating geological processes are one helping to improve the understanding of planet history one another helping to locate useful resources three prediction of potentially disastrous events are the most important advantage or importance of closely studying geological process so the answer is d none of the above question number 10 which of the following is solely exogenic force bear in your mind students the question says that identify it the question is that which of the following is solely exogenic force solely solely means only solely means only so which of the following is only exogenic force exogenic force a folding b faulting c volcanism d weathering exogenic means external force so the only external force from these four destructors is uh, only what weathering folding is the pushing of two positive forces from two positive sides i mean two opposite sides not positive sides one force from the left and the other force from the left push each other during this the land between the two forces has two opportunities one to bend down and forming valleys two to bend or fold up in order to form mountains this type of mountain is known as forest mountains or block mountains like Renzori mountain faulting is the cracking of rocks whereas volcanism is the flow of magma from the interior surface of the earth on the upper surface of the earth or even within the internal part of the earth so weathering is the exogenic force or external force so the answer is d question number 11 the largest mass of magma which accumulated in the crust is a lacolite b seal d batolite batolite is the correct answer the largest mass of the, mar, the largest mass of magma accumulated in the crust is batolite question number 12 which one of the following is part of the old gold mountains i mean gold ones gold 
ጎንዱዋና ላንድስ ጎንዱዋና ላንድ ኤ ኖርዝ አሜሪካ ቢ ኤዥያ ሲ ዩሮፕ ዲ አውስትራሊያ ኳሲ ሰይዘት which of the following is the part of old gondwana land so remember the previous question north america asia europe are we have said the northern hemisphere which is categorized to laurasia now what you have asked is about the gondwana land or the southern hemisphere so australia is the southern continent or the gondwana land good question number 13 which of the following was proposed by alfred wegeners a plate tectonics b continental drift c ocean floor spreading d all continental drift theory was propounded or proposed by the engineer alfred wegener or climatologist so the answer is b good question number 14 what is the name of the huge sea that existed around panja what is the name of the huge sea that existed around panja a atlantic ocean b tethys c amazon d antarctica e none the largest sea or the huge sea that existed around the panja was known as tethys so the answer is b question number 15 the sudden shaking the ground that occurs when masses of rock changes the position or its position below the earth's surface is called the sudden shaking up of the ground that occurs when the masses of rock changes its position below the earth's surface is called a earthquake b volcano d magma i mean c magma d none i will give you one minute try to answer student try it good i hope you have got the answer if the cake is the sudden shaking of the ground that occurs when the masses of rock changes its position below the earth's surface so the answer is a an earthquake well let's proceed to another question question number 16 which of the features given below is no good question number 60 which of the following features given below is not associated with the work of wind action in different areas a sand dunes b barkans c loose deposits d lagoon okay lagoon is not the feature of wind action in different areas but sand dunes barkans loose deposits are the feature of wind action as a result d is not the answer i mean d is 
not associated with the work of wind action in different areas so it is answer number 17 a crack on the earth's crust formed by the forces of tension and compression is tension and the compression good a fault b fault c volcano d all students think over it in order to answer this question the question says that a crack on the earth's crust formed by the forces of tension and the compression is one compressing is there Two tensional force is there. Due to this, the rocks are becomes forming cracks. What is the process? Is this called? So this is known as faulting, the breaking of rocks. The answer is A. Question number 18. In instruments that can detect earthquake waves are called the instruments that can detect earthquake waves are called a thermosphere b seismographs d wind vane d rector scale okay the answer for this question is b seismographs are instruments which are used to detect earthquake waves but rector scales are scales that are used to measure the magnitude of earthquake excellent let's proceed to another question Question number 19. The down slope movement of rock is called down movement. A. Plate tectonic. B. Mass wasting. C. Gravity. D. Earthquake. The down slope movement of rock is called what? I hope you have learned it. A plate tectonic, B mass wasting, C gravity, D earthquake. Mass wasting is the down slope movement of rocks. So the answer is B. Question number 20. Which of the following is not the controlling factor for mass wasting? I repeat once. Which of the following is not the controlling factor for mass wasting? A. Actual gravity. B. Water. C. Latitude. D. Angle of the slope. E. The activities of people. Latitude is not the controlling factor for wasting. Good. Question number 21. Flares join together and cuts the ditch wider and deeper is called A. Sheet erosion, B. Gully erosion, C. Real erosion, D. Speeds. Gully erosion is the flares that join together and cut the ditch wider and deeper. So the answer is B. Question number 22. Which of the following action is the major factor for the formation of sophomore cave? Sophomore cave is found along the river of wave in Balezon. This was formed by which of the following forces? A. Wind action. B. Chemical weathering. C. Frost action. D. Mechanical weathering. Students, I think that you have learned about the wind action and its 
effects on the surface of the earth about chemical weathering, mechanical weathering, and frost action. But the answer for this question is B. Chemical weathering causes for the formation of sophomore cave along the river wave in Bali zone. Okay, question number 23. Which of the following mountain is formed by the unextinct volcano? There are three types of volcanoes. Active, dormant, and extinct. So, which of this mountain is formed by an extinct volcano? A. Kilimanjaro B. Tanzania C. Zekwala D. Ertale Zekwala mountain is formed by the an extinct volcano. So, the answer is C. Question number 24. Which of the following is old fold mountain? There are two types of fold mountains. The young fold mountains and the old fold mountains. So, which represents old fold mountains? A. Andes B. Rockies C. Alpes D. Urals It is better to see here. Students, young fold mountains are mountains which are known with the age of 10 to 25 million years. These are includes Atlas, which is found in Northwest Africa, Rocky Mountains in North America, Himalaya in Asia, Andes Mountain found in South America, Australian Mountain is found in Australia, and Alpes mountain is found in Europe, whereas the second old fold mountains are mountains which are known with the years of 2 million years ago. These are Cape Range, which is found in South Africa, Urals, which is found in Russia, Appalachians, which is found in USA. So Urals is the old fold mountains as a result. Our answer for this question is D. Good. Thank you, students, for your attention. Don't forget, subscribe, share, and like. Goodbye, students. Goodbye.